all right ladies and gentlemen what is up back at you with another video ads play 101 and here to talk to you guys about the gote 13 the original the first captains that were gote 13 captains um as you know this was actually revealed uh this past week from kubo himself in a in a weekly shonen jump uh issue as well as their faces were revealed during episode seven of the thousand year blood war anime series um you know for the longest time back in 2019 the only image that we had of them were like a grayed out image now we see their full faces and just a week ago we got you know the, this image that you see before you here and now just a few days after that their names have officially been revealed and their names actually reveal some connections to some people who are currently you know active in bleach so without further ado man we finna open this up you know i don't like to waste time i like to get right to it so that's one page second page right here why is this taking forever okay bet now the crazy part about this is this reveal actually spoiled one major thing that's about to happen so i'm gonna go over it but i'm, I'm telling y'all now it, it's like one of the biggest shockers of the thousand year blood war um but when they did this they did it under the under the thought that everybody had already read the thousand year blood war in the manga so because of that they uh they kind of revealed something that i don't think they understood not everybody read that book so we're gonna um so first off let me take this picture down we're gonna open up this again we're gonna go to chrome Let's see. booyah and this is the page right here let me shrink this page down a little bit there we go So first and foremost, let me give a shout out to Shonen Leaks on Twitter because he was the one that kind of posted the the panels from the the weekly Shonen Jump edition that revealed this information. So I definitely got to give a shout out to him because he's been doing a good job. Where my camera at? Where my camera at? Where my camera at? Right here. All right. Let me shrink this down a little bit. So. Episode 7, of course, revealed... Let me lock this in. Let me lock that. Okay, so Episode 7, like as I said, as I stated before, revealed... The the faces of the first lineup of the Gote 13. But in this one, just a few days later, we actually have the names of all the original... Of, the, of that first line of captains. And um, if you go back and you watch my first video that I did on the original Gote 13, I said some things that actually kind of lines up with everything that they are showing. So let's get to scrolling down. So first off, let me just show you the pictures right here. Let me just show these pictures off. So let me shrink this down some so the guys can see. I probably just need to open up another Google Chrome. Matter of fact, let me do that. Let me open up another Google Chrome so I won't have to go back and forth. So we're going to shrink this down. So like I said, there's some interesting things. You probably don't know it right off the bat. But trust me, it's it's interesting as hell. So that's one. And these are actually in the order of the of the squads that they were captains of, so that there's no confusion. I'm gonna lock that in place. Take my camera. Expand that a little bit. Get another one of these open. Uh, display capture, window capture right here. Right, get 
this down. So this is how we're gonna do this like this. I should have set this up, you know, not live, but hey, what the hell? That should be enough. So let me get this back up. Boom. Okay, so taking a first look at the uh, at the names of these guys. So. Expand this just a little bit. So we're going to start with the squad two captain. Obviously, we all know the head of squad one was uh, Yamamoto, Ejisai, Genryusai. You know, he changed his name over the years. But Yamamoto, he's the head of squad one. So there's no secret with him. You know, he said he's been the head of the Gote 13. He was the one that had created the Gote 13. Uh, can't see why he wasn't invited to the zero squad, but... Guess he wanted to stay down there, even if he was. But nevertheless, we have Shihoan Chika. Now, this is a guy um, who has a connection to the Shihoan clan that Yoruichi is a part of. So, this is actually Yoruichi's ancestor. Uh, so, with her, um, you know, this is her ancestor. Now, at the time... Here's the thing about uh, Shiho and Chika. He's Yoroichi's ancestor, but you know, S Squad Two is known for their um, they're called the uh, Stealth Corps. You know, they're like the assassins. Now, it wasn't revealed if the Stealth Corps actually was around at the time that he was the head of he, he was the captain of Squad Two. But we do know for a fact that 110 years after their, um, that 110 years later, when Yorichi was the head of the squad, uh, she was the captain of Squad Two. She was the one that kind of combined Squad Two and the Stealth Corps into one unit. So even if they were present during that time, which there's nothing to prove that they were um they weren't the same uh thing they were operating as different groups squad two and the stealth corps so but that's you on human chica that's uh yuruichi's ancestor next up we have izuhara kenroku now there's nothing that actually is gets revealed about about him but uh Let me see if they mention anything in this. Shikashi Hoenn, as readers can guess, he was Yurichi's ancestor and likely established both the Royal Shihoan clan and the second division. Even if the stealth forces existed at the time of the first generation of the Gote 13, Chika was most likely not its commander, considering that Yurichi, who who linked the, the Omi Sekudo with the second division only 110 years prior to the canon timeline. So, Yorichi was the one who, was, again, was responsible for combining the stealth force and the um, the second division into one unit. So, there's, that's that. Uh, the third division captain was Kenroku Zuhara. Uh, there's no information about him. This guy right here, there's no information about him. But uh, Shijima, who was the head of Squad Four, so I Izuhara Ro Kenroku, he was the he was the first uh, Squad Three captain, and Shijima Shigiri um, is was the head of Squad Four, and right here it says that while the fourth division's captain was Sh Shigiri, hold on, did, did, did their names get mixed up? Shijima Chigiri. Oh, 
on this one it has on the paper on the picture it says chigiri but in the text it says chikiri so that's a that's a typo by somebody but um it remains unclear whether the fourth division was dedicated to the healing supply division back in the day considering that kampachi zaraki had previously called the first generation of the gote 13 a band of ruthless killers um it seems kampachi zaraki called them that was yuha that did that kampachi wasn't even a, like kampachi zaraki wasn't even around like that back then you know he was still running the streets so he wouldn't know so that was this right here was a was a miss a mistype by whoever wrote this article it was yuha bot that said that but uh regardless yuha bot had previously called the first generation a band of ruthless killers and it seems unlikely that the fourth division was made up of healers at that time now tenjiro who i just spoke about in my last video who was uh who was the second officer in the zero division um is likely responsible for redefining the division's purpose a mantle that was later picked up by retsu unohana after she left the 11th division now that was one of the big secrets she was the original captain of squad 11 as you know is a very bloodthirsty division um so that should tell you about her so next up uh let me see click off of that we have squad five the captain of squad five obana danjiro let's see if they talk about him so the f the fifth division of the first generation was headed by obana danjiro which is there's no information on him while the sixth division's captain was furofushi saito and that's homegirl right here who i said she may have a connection to hiori because she kind of has that same uh look about her But another interesting thing about her was that um, Furuichi doesn't resemble any Kuchiki clan member. Now, Byaki Akuchi, Kuchiki, excuse me, Byaki Akuchi, wow. He's actually the head of, uh, he's the captain of Squad 6. And as well, you know, the, the Squad 6, they're kind of controlled by one of the royal families, which is the Kuchiki clan, uh, which is the Kuchiki uh, clan, excuse me. You know they kind of control squad six that's 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 basically like a royal family uh squad at this point essentially um because they've been the head of squad six for like a long time you know prior to biaki Yakuchi, his grandfather was um was the head of squad six if i'm if i'm not mistaken but uh seeing that you know squad six first captain was Saito Furufushi unless there's some type of ties between the Kushiki clan and the clan that she may be from uh, based on her uh, her last name it wasn't always in control of the Kushiki clan like a lot of people thought because that that's how the Bleach fans got introduced to the to squad six you know even uh, Byakuya said that you know that was their squad for like generations um the seventh division captain right here and one of the guys who i'm most interested in is a uh, shigio no busuna and as it states right here that uh nobus no busuna shigio the seventh division captain looks as far removed from Saijin Kamamura and Tetsu and Tetsuman Eva as possible. You know, squad uh Squad seven, you know, that's uh Kamamura, you know, the big dog for those who don't pay attention to bleach that much and aren't familiar with names. He's the dog captain. He's the dog. And um the captain of squad eight, which I think I gotta switch over. There we go right here. Is Katori Batsunsai. Batsunsai. We can click off this. Okay. Um, where's that? Where did I lose my place? Okay. Division 8's captain is listed as Unsai Katori Batsu. 
did they get their name wrong? They did. So either somebody got their name wrong because on the picture it says Katori Batsunsai and on here it says Katori Batsu Unsai. So I think they combined the wrong part of parts of the name. But uh Unsai, as I stated in my again my first video, she kind of resembled um Lisa who was the girl who wore the Sailor Scout outfit, schoolgirl uniform, and her shikai was like a long spear. And uh now, now you know she was working under uh Shinsui. That was uh that was her uh, vice that was his vice captain. So they kind of resemble her a lot. And I don't know if they have some history, maybe their family history started with her or something like that, but it's not revealed. So, but she looks more so familiar to Lisa than she does Nano. So, unless there's like some family history between these three women, I mean, like we'll never know. But moving on, Division 9, and this is another one of the guys that I'm interested in who looks like a Buddhist. Uh... Kumoi and Tetsu. Kumoi and Tetsu. And now Division 9, of course, as, as it states right here, their primary goal or their primary their primary responsibility is the security of the Soul Society. Um was originally headed by Intetsu Kumoi. Um they don't really state anything else outside of that. Uh, but he looks pretty menacing. You know, his teeth is on the outside of his his mouth. He looks dangerous. Um, and he has one of the more unique Zongba toe, too. It looks like a bamboo blade, like a bamboo blade or something like that. Uh, so next up, we have Otagawa Furu Furuoki. Forgive me if I'm butchering these names. Otagawa Furuoki. Uh, the original head of Division 10. Uh, as Margaritas already knew, and this is where one of the big spoilers came about, uh, the 11th Division, as we state right here, was headed by Retsu Unohana, which at the time she was going by her real name, Yachiru Unohana. Now, everybody knows that Yachiru, the pink-haired girl who was the vice captain of, uh, of Squad 11, who fights alongside Kenpachi as his navigator, so to speak. Um, and they still get lost. But she was the first captain of Squad 11. That was her squad at first. And Yachiru was actually named after her. And uh, she's had, she's actually has to go back to this, this part of her that she's pretty much been keeping locked away. So you're going to see within the next few episodes of the Thousand Year Blood War, she's going to go back to this and she's going to help Kenpachi obtain some some new powers. So just keep keep that in mind. It's going to be crazy to see her Bankai get activated. But yeah, so that's her, you know, after she lost. But it was revealed a long time ago. Her and Zoraki had a, a fight that um, she lost and uh, she retired from being the Kenpachi. Um, at that time and uh, decided to dedicate herself to being a healer you know of course which the whole reason why she became a healer to begin with was because she would end her fights too soon and she would heal the person that she beat just to just to keep the fights going so she was the most bloodthirsty out of all the savage killers that was at this time so that's hence the reason why she had the title Kenpachi so next up we have Zenjo Jiuhin. Now, this is Squad 12's first captain. And we all know Squad 12 was the head of, you know, that's the research division. That's the one that does the experiments, you know, any mad scientists, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, ordeal that's his division. That's the division. Now, it's not likely, as it states right here. Jiuhen, wait, how well can y'all see this down here? 
Forgive me if I'm not blowing it up. I ain't got it blown up. Let me try to expand this some. So y'all can see it a bit better. I should have did this the other times, but excuse me. But Jiuhen Zenjo was the captain of Division 12 during the first generation. However, he does not seem like a person who would be interested in scientific pursuits. The Kurosuchi, who was Mayuri, the guy on the on the right, and Urahara, who is the guy on the left, um, are known for. So, again, at this time, you know, everybody was a was a killer. They were just killers back then. That first generation was just killers. They didn't have certain roles that the divisions had now. So, somewhere along the line, I don't know if it started with Kisuke Urahara, but in between that time of the first generation and Kisuke, it became known as the research division. So... Kisuke may have been the one that turned it into the research division. We don't know. But uh, that remains to be seen. And we'll put that back down. And last but not least, we have Sakahone Saizo, who was actually the oldest member of the first generation of the Gotei 13. So he's actually older than Yamamoto. He's, he's older than what Yamamoto was. And uh, there's no information on him. So... This is a full list. Uh, again, shout out to Shonen Leaks because here we go right here. Uh, this is the names of the captains in order. You know, Shohen Shika, Squad 2, Izuhara, Kinroku, Squad 3, Shinjima Chiri, Chigiri, Squad 4, Obana Daijiro, uh, Squad 5, Saito Furufushi, Squad 6, Shigio no Busuna. That's the guy who looks like death. He was the head of squad seven. Katori Batsunai. Katori uh, Batsunsai. Uh, she was the head of squad eight. Kumoi Intetsu. Squad nine. Otagawa Furoki. Furoki. Squad ten. Unohana Yachiru, you know, squad 11. And uh, Jin, Jinjo Juinin, squad 12. And Sakahone Saizo, squad 13. So, again, right here it also says, states that at the time, of course, what I, which I mentioned in the beginning, many of us have uh, questioned why the Royal Guards or Squad Zero were not a part of the original Gotei 13, as had been speculated for a long time. While it was known that Hikufune was a captain of squad or Division 12, during Hiroko's times, fans suspected that Shujimaru Shuta would be a part of the original squad. It was large, so this kind of speculates that that Shinjumaru was a she had some dealings with Squad 12, like she was the head of Squad 12, because all of these are former captains. So Shinjumaru, which is the the female right here, the one who had the golden arms on her back. She uh she was the head of Squad 12 at some point, and Hikufune kind of took over after her. So, we don't know when it became the research division. Maybe at the time of Hikufune, I don't know. Or sometime before her. But yeah, that's, uh, that kind of solves that question. But, um... Fans suspected that Shujumaru Shuta was a part of the original squad. It was also largely speculated that Kirinji, who's the big pompadour, you know, greaser gang looking dude with a straw in his mouth, was the original captain of the fourth division, given that he taught Unohana a lot about healing. However, that speculation was laid to rest during this revelation. So that's them. That is the squad. The first generation of the Gotei 13. Uh, very dangerous. Very dangerous group. A bunch of savage killers, as they said. Ooh, why did I do that with that? I shrink that down. And uh, get this back up. But yeah, man. So this is the original lineup of the Gotei 13. Guys look menacing. I'm pretty sure if they are revealing names of these people like a mere 
like few days after it was already revealed, then we might actually get some actual backstory on these guys before the end of the year or early next year. But regardless of the fact, I'm glad they did. You know, they didn't leave us in the dark for too long. Um, you know, because we waited since 2019 to even know what they looked like. We didn't even think they were going to reveal their faces. We just thought we was just going to get, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, we thought we was just going to get a. Uh, that little piece of information was just thrown out there just to show how long the Gotei 13 has been active. But to see that the new hell arc is something that they're actually actively working on and trying to throw little tidbits out as the thousand year blood war goes on is something that puts a smile on my face and it gives us something to look forward to after the thousand year blood war is over. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get the manga first and then later on down the line, we're going to get an animated as well. But it's something to look forward to. So, yeah, we got all, we got the names of all the the original Gotei 13 first generation. Um, you know, and it's cool to see that Yoruichi, her ancestor, was a part of that first generation. Um, it'll be cool to see if uh, if Saito Furufushi, if maybe the clan she came from had some dealings with the Kuchki clan. Maybe they fought over the the rights to be the head of Squad 6. And maybe her clan lost or something. I don't know. But it would be cool to see uh, to see that. Uh, let me see something. I, th I think Ichigo's dad was the head of... Yeah, okay. So Division 10. I was right. Division 10. Ooh, no. so Otogawa the guy who has the, the basket on his head they got the number 10 on him he's actually the head of the squad that later on down the line Ichigo's father was the head of so I don't know there may be some connection there but yeah man so that's the names of the original uh, Gotei 13 captains um, again, interesting to see these names revealed and the faces revealed. I'm excited for what they might show next. But with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. I'll see you guys later.